Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I made this tutorial because I always see this question. I had to come up with a name, so it, it really the name is Pip, picture in picture, but I'm gonna call it how to do a video, a zoomed video overlay. Now, I can understand why a lot of users, new users, really don't get the fact that you can do compositing in Premiere Pro. It's just not something they would understand without someone showing them. So the idea is someone wants to put a smaller video on top of another video. And some people call that putting in a video, an overlay, a zoomed video. It's a pip, a picture in picture. In fact, there's a whole bunch of presets already in Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you the presets, how you can control it, how you can use crop and transform, and then how you can put a stroke on uh, the zoomed area. Let's have a look. So here I've got a video on V1 and it's this video here. And I've got another video I'm going to open up in the source monitor of this person here. You drag that onto V2 and obviously V2 hides V1, and you can stack as many of these as you want. But if you go to the effects and type in pip for picture in picture, you'll see all of these presets. And all you really have to do is this one is a 25% uh, lower left, and it's, it's not animating at all. So if I drag this into here, there's 25% in the lower left, and it's taking into account the uh, action uh, and title safe area. I'm going to undo that and use the second one, and you'll see with this one, it actually scales down. It puts some keyframes in to animate that. Great. I think those are good, but I think you need to learn how to make it yourself to make it more powerful, because then you can decide design and decide exactly where you want things and control it. You've got a lot more control if you do it yourself. So with the top clip selected in the effects controls, open up motion and change the scale. You're done. That's it. <laughs> That's how simple that is. And uh, you want to position that. There are two ways of doing that. You can drag on the numbers in the source monitor or double click on the clip and move it around and you can also scale from this point here. So if I wanted this in the top left, I pop it up in there, drag that out a bit, hit play and there it is. Very simple. It's a 27.3% in the top uh, left. And if you want, you can right click and save this, name this as a preset anchor it to the, the in point, or, um, which is always the best one. And now you can make your own um, uh, presets. But let's look at this a little bit further. This clip is obviously a 16 by nine clip, and she's really in this section over here. What if I wanted to crop her and put her in one side? Well, let's go back over to our effects and look for crop. There it is. Add the crop, and you can do that by double clicking if the clip is selected. And then from here, you're just cropping in the left and the right, if that's appropriate. And then we'll put that in the corner. Now we've got this more interesting look where we've got her featured in that crop. Okay. What if you wanted to crop and zoom the area in there? Well, if we go to the motion section and change scale, the whole thing changes. So instead, we'll look for transform. And it's in the distort category. And now we've got crop and we've got transform. So if I hit scale here, it scales just like the motion. But if you have transform before crop, now you can scale in that cropped area. So sometimes I get this question all the time. In fact, this is like once a week this question comes up. How do you zoom inside a frame? Well, you don't use motion. You use transform and then crop. You can still use motion over here to position it and scale it somewhat. 
there you go. And if you want, like just like before, you hold the Control key on Windows, Command on the Mac, select both of these, right click, and save that as a preset. Uh, so you could save all of the motion, transform, and crop, and it will put it in the top corner. And you can see that example here where we've got a talking head stuck in the bottom right-hand side. I don't happen to have any audio on this. It's just a stock video from Artlist, but you get the idea if you wanted that um, popped-in look. Now here's another example where the, I've got the whole frame, and if we click on opacity, I've got a mask in this area, and then I also have a tint on her. So this is also something uh, some folks like, and I've scaled it down in motion. So you could place this wherever you wanted and have a zoomed in area with a different color if you wanted to highlight that. The next example is splitting the screen and zooming in on that area. Again, this is another common uh, request where it's the same video over here, full height, but zoomed in. Well, how do we do that? Let's go look at our effects stack. We've got transform and we've got crop. Where's the crop? The crop is cropping on the left-hand side. And yes, you can drag the crop in the uh, program monitor. And then our transform has uh, a scale of 100% and this is 100%. And if we click on the video below, it's actually scaled to 50%. And this is 100%. So it's a, a 4K video in an HD frame. But now we've got this zoomed in area uh, that we can set and zoom any amount. Now the last example is using a graphic. So this is an essential graphics shape. So just like before, I'm using the opacity mask in the effects controls to cut that off into a, a uh, circle. And then in essential graphics, I've added a circle, a white circle on the top with no fill white. So those are some really simple ways to get a zoomed video overlay, picture in picture, whatever you want to call it. You're just adding a whole bunch of stuff on different tracks and changing the scale and the position properties. So simple. And it's a great example of, of how you should be playing inside Premiere Pro. This is the same thing that you would do with layers in Photoshop too. If you ever wanted something smaller, what do you do? You put it on another layer or another track in Premiere Pro, and then you make the scale smaller, make the scale smaller. It's all the same thing. You've got so much control. Uh, and once you understand these really simple properties and then how to make advanced changes with transform and crop, and then draw strokes around things, man, oh man, you can get these things set up pretty quickly. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. We really appreciate all of our wonderful donors who have supported us, many of them, for many, many years, and thank you very much. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to listen to all those questions out there and finally get off my butt and make yet another useful but simple tutorial that you can find very beneficial. <laughs>